So, uh, what is your outlook for the global economy in 2011? I hope despite all the turbulence what we are facing in the last couple of years and a lot of unpredictability what will happen in the main countries like US and European countries, the 2011 will be uh, without big bumps. In Russia, we will be facing pre-election year, where a lot of decisions will be influenced by coming election to our parliament and the future president election. Uh, I think its commodity price will continue to stay high, and we'll see the continuity of the uh, big revenue for oil-produced countries. Um, Definitely the issue of the European, uh, some countries' future will be one of the key points on the agenda for all of us. It depends how they will find a solution to restructure the big debt and change the economical uh, situation. It will be very crucial for the future of Europe. And I hope the European Union will have a chance to keep the unity and will be stay uh, together. Um, I mean, there will be very important changes in our region. Depends how Russia can develop their relations with neighbors, with Ukraine, Belarus, and Kazakhstan, and develop its union. I hope Russia will join WTO, which will bring some new opportunities, and this all will help Russia become more attractive for investors. So, uh, the world in 2011 is exceedingly complex interconnected and unpredictable. How can organization develop resilience in the new world of risk? I think the main, <coughs> the main element to avoid the risk is uh, uh, knowing everything was going on before making any decisions. I mean, one of the key points which we are missing is transparency and different standards. I think one of the key points for all of us is uh, find a way to learn how we can operate in a market where it's not everything is um, open and transparent and what we need to do to improve the situation from, from different angles, from the government requirements, from the regulatory requirements, from the investors' requirements, from the point of the uh, market standards. But I think it will be crucial for the world, which is multicultural, very different and uh, very um, uneven and non very well connected to get some transparent mechanism of disclosure of the many uh, very important information which was not the case before. Okay, great. So as global growth shifts to the developing world, uh, what should be the role of business in the developing countries? Always the business is the main driver of the changes because the business is more active, more dynamic, more open-minded. I mean the key point will be how quickly the business from developing countries will become more international and how quickly will be integrated in, in the, themselves in the part, different part of the world where we can get the benefits from the different culture, different nationalities and not being present like the biggest bank from China where it's only Chinese work but the bank will be different people with different nationalities will work and will be culture will become more international. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would you consider the most important norms that an increasingly and interdependent yet diverse world needs to share? Uh, we are all facing, I think, the main uh, issue is the trust. We need to rebuild the trust between the different institutions, between the regulators, between the investors, between the companies. I think the key point that we all need to put the effort is to rebuild the trust of the system. Because without the trust of the system, you cannot make any changes, you cannot go forward, you cannot uh, really influence where some of the transformation needs to be done in many areas, in many countries.